Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's nails are going to be a tribal inspired stamping video and this is just a shot of the finished product. And here are my nails. I recently took off my acrylic so they're not in the best shape ever so please excuse me. But this is what we're going to be working with today. The polishes I'm using are from Nika K Models On and that is a dark brown. It looks kind of like a black but it's dark brown from Ruby Kisses. The plate I'm going to be using is from Bundle Monster called Chit Chat Nails. The stamper is also from Bundle Monster sorry, and the scraper is from Born Pretty. I have two coats of SE Million Nails on my nails as kind of like a hardener treatment and now I'm going to be using that mustard color on my pinky ring finger and I'm going to do my thumb. And I did two coats but I just showed you the first coat. And then on my pointer finger and my middle finger I'm going to be using two coats, no actually one coat sorry, of white from Nika K. I think it's called Swan or something like that. I didn't do the best job painting these so please excuse me. Now I'm going to be using a cosmetic sponge and I'm going to be doing a gradient and I'm just going to be painting the colors from lightest to darkest and I'm going to stamp them on my nails. Now I forgot to put on my liquid latex to help with my cleanup but we moved forward. So I actually had to go over this gradient maybe about four or five times to get it to the opacity that I wanted. So you just have to be a little bit patient with it and make sure that your sponge is pretty soaked with product. And then I'm just going to clean up and the image I'm going to use is the one with the elephants. Really cute. So as always, one generous swipe of polish, very firm scrape, light rolling motion with your stamper and I'm just going to line it up because I find I line up a lot easier this way especially if you have lines that have to be pretty straight to your nail. I'm just going to line it up and gently press my finger into the stamper and gently release so any little edges will not fall in any kind of strange place. And I'm just going to continue stamping. And as always, you clean up your stamper on your lint roller. No need to use any acetone or anything like that. I'm going to move on to the next hand. And I find doing this technique even on my other hand is a lot easier than trying to roll it. And these, this image is actually stamped or etched pretty deeply, so I didn't have to clean in between each stamp, which was pretty good. Now I'm just going to show you how I clean up. I just get, this was a lip brush and a little bit of acetone and a cotton pad just to keep all of the acetone off of my mat, although the mat will keep my table from getting dirty or stained or warped from the uh, acetone. And that's pretty much how I clean up my cuticles. Now I'm just going to apply a very generous coat of some matte top coat. This one is from Model Zone. And definitely floating it over the image so I don't smear it. And that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.